<coughs> okay, class. Uh, good morning. Our topic for today is about uh, great circle sailing. Okay, great circle means uh, in a uh, Mercator chart, you will see a great circle in a curved line. Okay, in a mnemonic chart, you will see a great circle in a straight line, as what is shown on your slide right now. Now, uh, there are steps on how to solve the great circle, okay? So I will show you step by step, and I will also show you and explain to you how to use the uh, NP229 with this one. Okay, so first step is to find the latitude direction and solve for D long, okay? Given with the following point A, for example, uh, of course, in a great circle, you will always have to find the great circle distance and then the initial and final course, okay? Great circle distance and then the initial course and then the final course. So for this example, point A, you are coming from latitude 10 degrees south, longitude 150 degrees west. And for point B, it is 40 degrees north and 160 degrees east, okay? So determining the direction coming from your latitude, it will be northward. That is why it is written here, north. And then solve for your D long or your difference of longitude, okay? It will be 50 degrees west, okay? 50 degrees west. This will be equivalent with your LHA or the local R angle coming or uh, solving from the poles. Step two is to draw point A to point B for you to be able to analyze, okay? Find great circle distance, initial and final course between the following. So after, after, uh, after with this given uh, problem, you have to draw. So first, write the equator line, which is straight line. It's a uh, latitude zero, zero, zero degrees. And write your point A. Okay, from your point A, it is 10 degrees south and you are in the west longitude. And then your point B is 40 degrees north, okay, and 160 degrees east, meaning to say you have passed or navigated the international date line and you are, and you are, uh, you have passed the international date line, okay, and uh, going to 160 degrees east. So after that, okay, so with your first position alpha and the uh, position bravo, you get, you will have to solve the great circle distance, which is this one, okay? And then you have the poles in here, the letter P stands for poles or the North Pole, okay? And then you have to draw this arc on both sides, which is your, uh, Meridians of longitudes, okay? Meridians of longitudes. Because uh, looking on the diagram, it will show you a spherical triangle instead. Now, why is it written that there's a D long of 50, okay? Because the D long between 150 west and 160 east is 50 degrees west. And why is it written that 50 and 100 is here? I will show you on the next slide. Because point A to pole P is 10 degrees south. So if you are coming from 10 degrees south and then from the equator to the pole, it is 90 degrees north. So 90 plus 10, it will be 100. That is why 100 is written in here. Then point B to pole P is here, meaning 40 degrees, 40 degrees north, okay? Uh, subtract to 90, you will get 50 degrees latitude, okay? From B to point P, okay? I hope that is clear. And here is the cosine formula. You may screenshot. So cosine formula for great circle are the following. Cosine P is equals to cosine AB minus cosine P 
PB times cosine PA over sine PB times sine PA. Uh, inter uh, cross multiply, you will get cosine AB because AB is your distance. Looking back, AB is your uh, great circle distance. So we have to find the AB. Is equals to cosine T times sine TB times sine TA. Okay, divided by cosine TB divided by cosine TA. Okay, and you will get a great circle distance of 68 degrees, 4.8 minutes. Multiply it to 60, you will get a great circle distance of 4,084.8 nautical miles. Now we have solved for great circle distance. Now, next step, step number five, is to determine the angle A and then the angle B, okay? Angle A is cosine A equivalent to cosine TB minus cosine TA times cosine AB over or divided by sine TA times sine AB equivalent to 39 degrees, 14.3 minutes, okay? And then angle B is cosine B is equivalent to cosine TA minus cosine TB times cosine AB over sine TB times sine AB, which will be equivalent to 125 degrees, 35.5. Why did we solve for angle A and angle B? Because we have to determine the initial course and then the final course, which is the step six, okay? <clears throat> or the last step. So the last step is to determine the initial course and then the final course. So to solve for initial course, you need the angle A that we have solved earlier. 360 minus angle A is equivalent to 320 degrees, 45.7 minutes. So this is the initial course at point A, okay? Initial course at point A. Now, for the final course, of course, that will be in point B. That's why you needed the angle B. So 180 plus B equivalent to 305, 35.5 minutes. Okay, 305 degrees, 35.5 minutes. As you can see, they both differ to each other, 320 then 305. There's a, an alteration, of course, to port side because you are steering a great circle course. Okay, to summarize the formula, you may screenshot this one, okay? Uh, solve for the direction, determine direction, D long, and then draw it, okay? Write the equator first, then the poles. And then use the cosine formula here in a, for you to be able to determine the great circle distance, multiply it to 60. And then determine angle A and angle B using cosine A and then cosine B formula. You will get it in degrees and then apply that to the formula 360 minus angle A for the initial course, and then 180 plus angle B for the final course, you will be able to determine the great circle distance and then the initial course and then the final course. Okay, I hope you have followed my instructions very well. Now let's move on to the use of the nautical publication 229. Okay, this is a site reduction table, which I have attached on your canvas. Okay, all the volumes there from 0, 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Okay, <clears throat> so find the distance and initial great circle course from latitude 32 south, longitude 116 east to latitude 30 degrees south, longitude 031 east. For example, the point of departure 32 south, 116 east replaces the AP of the observer. The destination latitude 30 degrees south, longitude 31 degrees east, replaces the GP of the celestial body, which is the difference of longitude of 85 degrees. So subtract 116 to 031, the difference of longitude will be 85 degrees, which is also equivalent to your local R angle of the body. Okay. Now, after that, what will you do? you have to enter 
or look for the publication 229. Now, determine which volume you use. It will differ uh, on which latitude, latitude you are. Okay? So for this one, it is above 30. We will use volume 3. Okay? So with that volume 3, with latitude 32, same name, LHA 85, <coughs> or DLONG 85, declination is 30. The respondents correspond to a celestial body above the celestial horizon. Therefore, 90 minus the tabula tabulated altitude, 19 degrees 12.4. It will be equivalent to 70 degrees 47.6 minutes. Multiply it to 60. You will be able to get the distance. Okay. The tabulated altitude is taken from the volume. Okay. Ita tabulate mo siya from which latitude and the declination. Remember that, gentlemen. Okay from which latitude and declination. The tabular azimuth angle, 66 degrees, coming from the publication 229 becomes the initial great circle course angle. Prefect south for the latitude of the point of departure, okay, because the latitude is south, and suffix west due to the destination being west of the point of departure. So after you have drawn, the equator and then the direction and the point A and then the point B, you'll be able to determine if it's going south or going west. Okay? But the southerly here is coming from your latitude. Okay? So with that, you have to add 180 degrees from the 66 degrees west. 180 plus 66, this will be your answer. Okay, showing you right now is the uh, page, okay, an extract from the NP229 site reduction table. You have to determine the LHA first or the D-long. Remember, this is equivalent to the D-long or the difference of longitude, which is 85 degrees. I have encircled it yellow here, and that is the page you will look for. Now, this is your latitude. Okay, latitude 32 degrees as what is given. And declination is also given, given 30 degrees. And with that, it just tabulate it under this column. And on this row, you will get the 19 degrees 12.4 minutes, which is the HC or the altitude. Okay, and then the south 66 degrees west is this one coming from the letter Z. Okay. This is 66 degrees west. Since it's uh, south 66 west, you have to add 180. And the answer will be this great circle distance is 4248 nautical miles and 66 southwest is 246. Okay, 66 plus 180 equivalent to 246. Remember, always draw this line. Point A going to point B, 32 and then 30, and you are still in the south, okay? And you are moving upwards on the left, meaning you are westbound. That is why this is west, and you are still in the south, and this is the south pole. A to B is your great circle distance. Now, this is your exercise too. Everyone, I want you to screenshot it and submit it to me on my email, okay? Uh, this is exercise number two. Your ship departs Yokohama, Japan from position latitude 35 degrees 27 minutes north, longitude 139 degrees 39 minutes east, bound for San Francisco, California, USA. At position 37 degrees 48.5 north, longitude 122 degrees 24 minutes west, determine the distance by great circle sailing. Okay? Always understand the problem first. Okay? Uh, it is just asking for the distance or the GC distance. And these are the given latitude or point A and then the point B. Also, you may find the initial course and then the final course. That is all for today about great circle sailing. I hope you have uh, understood my explanation and the use of the NP229. And with that, thank you very much and good morning. Let me stop the sharing.